Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, you know, normally when I, I do these videos, uh, I record them over a period of two, three, sometimes even four days. Uh, today I'm going to do everything in one day. Um, got a lot of little things to take care of on this uh, cab. Uh, I'm supposed to be painting my buddy's Honda Pilot. But uh, <clears throat> I know I'm not doing your Honda Pilot or anybody else's. Uh, he's a good buddy of mine, does a lot of uh, favors for me, so I agreed to do it. Normally I don't do anything newer than 1972, uh, except maybe the odd square body pickup truck, because I like those trucks. Um, but, you know, if I started doing that, that stuff all the time, I'd have, uh, you know, 2012 Silverados and Dodge Rams F-150s lined up around the block waiting to get rockers and cab corners done and I just don't want to do it um, So anyway, I've already done the metal work and everything on it and it's ready to ready to spray I just got to wet sand it and that's it. We're gonna play it by ear in the weather I might still squeeze that in today But uh, for the most part, I'm just gonna be taking care of loose ends on the 51 cab um and hopefully get into the firewall. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so uh, might as well just get right to it, man. Okay, so my first order of business was to get rid of the weather stripping that went all the way around, you know. Uh, there it is there, just peeled it off. Basically what it is, you have a strip here, almost like a sill plate, I guess you'd call it. And uh, it, it fits in here and it kind of, overlaps to a weather stripping and it kind of stuck out past here a little bit it held it down it's also got a rubber seal on it anyway got rid of it all there it goes and uh you know i had to clean up this edge um because i want to clean up my my jams and finish stripping them so you know i started on it i mean you know look at that metal unbelievable anyway i'm going to do the same thing on the other side so Here's the weather stripping here, and you can see what I was talking about. That metal strip goes over top of it, so it kind of holds it in place, and then this rubber seal as well. Now, these screws are a bitch to get out. They are seized up. They're, uh, you know, Phillips head screws, which I hate them. I mean, they, they're so easy to strip. But uh, there's, a, there's a couple of techniques you can use to break them free, and I'll show you that right now. Okay, so a couple things with these Phillips screws. Make sure you got the screwdriver that actually fits the screw. <laughs> you know, so, you know, there's no way. That's not, that's not budging. So, you can just take a hammer, and as you've got force on it, oh, there you go. You can feel it, feel it break free. So, we'll do this. Put some heat on her. Ah. Come on. Don't need a whole lot, just enough to you know, get her hot. <clears throat> and that should do it. carry on get this all out and uh, yeah two more screws to do and we'll peel that off okay so the weather stripping is off cleaned up the edge a little pitted but you know not bad it's solid uh, 
one of the things I want to do, I want to get my jams cleaned up all the way around down to here where I'm going to be welding in new stuff. Uh, also, I noticed a couple of, I don't know if you can see them. No, you can't really. There's a couple of pinholes. I've circled them, you know, uh, spots that I missed with the welder. So I got to get that. I've also got a spot weld the, uh, uh, plug welds underneath the uh, rock, uh, cab corners to finish them off both sides and like I said I started stripping this one I'm going to finish finish it up all the way around as well and uh, then we got a you know good cleanup to do inside here vacuum again and uh, we can paint the inside of this thing so I guess I'll go to time lapse and uh, we'll get all that stuff done So that's all cleaned up. Looks good, you know. Uh, the condition of the metal is unbelievable. Again, <laughs> so uh, that's good. Um, yeah, I also got rid of the steering column. It was in my way, um, and you know I've done some measuring. So uh, yeah, there's this size also all done all the way around. And um, yeah, I've done some measuring off the frame. So I know I need some clearance for my heads right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark it out. And it's roughly going to be like something like here, down to here. Roughly, anyway. <clears throat> so I'm going to notch that, make it flush with this uh, back piece where it's curved in. The distributor will sit about here. So we're good there. I'm going to match it up both sides. I know what I need. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to mark it out, and I'll get on cutting that out. Yeah, uh, you know, there's the column there, and a bunch of wiring I cut out as well. Stuff we're not going to need. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to notch, mark it out and cut it out, and I'll come back and show you what we got.
Yeah, yeah, that's a hole, all right. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not even sure how I'm going to finish this off to make it look right. I'm thinking the best way would be to go straight across the back and then bring it outwards and, you know, cut off the excess, weld it in, and then fill in top and bottom. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I know this side here looks smaller than this side. Uh Probably because it is um, this edge here comes straight down on this side over here it came down at an angle so that's why it, it looks smaller you know this line here is same distance from center as this line over here so that's uh, that's how we're gonna do it so yeah I guess I'll finish cutting some stuff I, I, I actually think I'm gonna clean up this side here first and uh, then we'll start figuring out what we're going to do for metal. So there we go. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, so, you know, I started to clean. And the more I'm looking at this thing, it it's a mess. It's, this is not good. Um, the way this is coming out here, you know, I'm going to have like a box, a hole in there. It's going to look stupid. So I've decided to go lower. Cut down here, right across and up. And that'll leave me with just, you know, this will all be a flat area. And then I just have to roll my piece back and fill in the side here and uh, call it done. So now because I'm interfering, this is where the uh, brake pedal came through. It's a raised pad here and on the inside. I'm going to cut that whole pad out of there and it'll just be nice and clean. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot more work than I figured and I'm not... There's no way I'm going to get this metal back in here before the end of this video. So, uh, you know, I'm going to cut it out, square it up, give you an idea of what I'm doing, and do some cleaning up on the firewall. And, uh, you know, I'll start fabricating metal probably tomorrow, I guess, and uh, that'll be in the next video. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, I should have thought of that as soon as I saw this. It was bugging me. But, uh, yeah, easy fix. Okay, so this is going to be much, much better. So if you look at it here, uh, I'll have a piece coming, you know, straight across here, all the way and flush, flush right across here. Um, and then all I have to do is just, you know, return it to the back and return it to the back from here. So it'll be much cleaner looking. <clears throat> so this will all be flat, you know. I want to have all these funky bumps and crap going on. And then I'll just fill in this little, this little extra piece here after I get the, uh, the bigger one in. Um, yeah, it's it's a fair amount of work, but you know I've still got like 1.38 million holes to fill in this thing. Uh, I mean they're everywhere, so all these holes are all going to be filled. I'm not using them, so why have them there? Um, I even got the welder out. I was going to start filling a couple of these little holes, and uh, you know. But uh, guess what? I'm out of welding wire. So I just used the last foot. Uh, so, you know, I'm not welding anything tonight. So I guess it's off to the, uh, off to the princess, see the princess tomorrow and uh, go pick up some, uh, some wire. So that, I found that that's the cheapest place to get it. So, uh, yeah, I'll be running on it over there tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean up a little bit longer and... Uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll probably call it a night. Okay, <clears throat> so there you go. Well, I got a lot of little things done today. Um, you know, uh, not as far along as I wanted to. Um, cutting that, that metal takes time. It, 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 this is heavy gauge steel compared to the new stuff. You know, uh, I mentioned I was doing, doing some work on my buddy's Honda. Well, here, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. It's, uh, I'll just turn around here. I'll be painting that tomorrow. That's, uh, yeah, it looks just like all the other SUVs. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, when you're cutting that metal on on, the, on that Honda, I mean, I was using the same tool as I'm using on, on the truck here, but it cuts through like butter, man. It's just like, you know, no problem. Five minutes, uh, five seconds, really. And uh, but then even cutting the, the steel that I used to patch the Honda, 
takes three times as long to cut that steel as it does to cut the steel that's on the car. <clears throat> and, it, you know, the thing was repaired at a dealership. Uh, and it started bubbling not long after. Well, it's because they didn't cut, uh, cut the steel out. They cut the rest out. They just bonded right over it and, and painted it at the dealership. So, <laughs> you know, I, I hate seeing that kind of stuff. But anyway, I'll paint that thing tomorrow and it's out of here. You, I promise you won't have to see it again. Um, <laughs> and I, I don't want to see it again either. Um, yeah, so I still haven't got my parts. So I should be able to finish that firewall off in the in the next video. That's what I'm shooting for. Uh, like I said, there's there's a ton of holes. There's got to be 100 holes in that thing to fill. Um, plus doing the... Uh, Finishing off those notches that I'm doing. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, so, you know, there's a good solid probably two days work, maybe three on that firewall uh, before I got it done. And uh, then once that's all done, I'm finally ready to actually paint the floor because I can clean up everything on the inside of the cab at that floorboard area, toe board area, be around the pedals and all that stuff. Get that all dialed in and done so I don't have to go back in there again for a long very long time till I wire something so yeah we're good um, I, I really hope those parts come in next week they're supposed to they told me uh, ETA on the delivery was I believe it was the 14th which is what what's today today's the 10th so we're talking Tuesday Wednesday ish so uh, yeah so I should have the firewall done by that by, by that time when the when the parts get here, and then we can just tear into that uh, that front pillar, and uh, you know all the metal work on the cab will be done, uh, including the doors. So uh, you know doors from the cab forward will be uh, all the metal work will be completed, and I'll just have the box and rear fenders left to do. Excuse me, freaking bugs! I hate them. God damn it! Um, I'll drink to that. <laughs> <coughs> Any, <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, uh, new subscribers got a good bunch last week. Thank you very much. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Uh, you know, like the page, and uh, don't forget to leave comments. I uh, I really enjoy the comments. Uh, geez, when I was talking about prices in the last video, uh, <laughs> that got a lot of people fired up, man. Uh, people are getting pissed uh, at the the way prices are going. Um, you know, materials are just just retarded it's just stupid um so you know it's getting to the point where a backyard guy's not going to be able to do this stuff or you know if a guy wanted to do his own car just for uh you know for fun kind of thing well it's no fun if you can't afford it and you're you know if you got to choose between your car and your mortgage you're gonna have to probably have to pick your mortgage it's a good idea so uh yeah it's just the way it is uh hopefully things straighten out a bit I did notice today that gas actually went down to like a buck fifty-five a liter, so that's around oh, just over six bucks a gallon. Um, it was over nine for a while there, so you know three bucks three three bucks a gallon less is a big difference, man. So uh, hopefully that'll help bring bring prices down a little bit. <clears throat> um, what else? Yeah, I guess that's about it. I'll just. Uh, Go after that that firewall uh, like a crazy man once I get my uh, welding wire in and uh, I'll pick that up first thing in the morning and uh, you know if you're not doing anything else get out in the garage and build something man later guys